Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the first Let's Animate Blender 2.8 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be learning the basics of animation in Blender 2.8. Let's start by looking at the settings and the interface. Under the Output tab, you will see the resolution for the animation. 1920 by 1080 is the default. You also see the frame start and frame end rates. The frame start is the first frame from which you want the animation to begin and one is the default. The frame end is the last frame of the animation and 250 is the default. You can also set your frame rate which is the number of frames per second. 24 is the default. Under the animation workspace, you'll see the camera view in the upper left, the 3D viewport in the upper right, and the dope sheet on the bottom. If you're familiar with Blender 2.7, you will notice that in Blender 2.8, the timeline and the dope sheet have now been combined. Under the Object tab, you have access to Location, Rotation, and Scale properties. The gray default color of the Object properties indicates that there are no keyframes or animation. Select the Default Cube and make sure that your mouse is over the 3D viewport. Then click I to bring up the Insert Keyframe menu and then choose Location, Rotation, and Scale. Notice that the Object Properties default gray color has now turned yellow, which indicates that a keyframe has been added. Move your Dope Sheet Indicator to Frame 20, and then move the cube. Notice that the object's property's yellow color has now turned green, which indicates that an animation has now been added. Once the cube is moved, press I to bring up the Insert Keyframe menu, and then choose Location, Rotation, and Scale. There are three main ways to animate in Blender 2.8. Shortcut keys, automatic keyframe, and object properties. So let's start with a new blend file. Delete the default cube and add in a UV sphere. Under the shading workspace, add a material just give it some color and we're just going to be using the materials essentially to show when we rotate the sphere. Without materials we wouldn't really be able to see it. And tab into edit mode and then select the center rows of faces and give them a second material. So we'll just add kind of a stripe to the ball. Now the first way to animate an object in Blender is through shortcut keys. Go ahead and open up the animation workspace and then let's go into look dev mode. You can do this by hitting Z and then choosing look dev or hitting the number 2. And then we'll also do this over in our camera. Make sure that you tab back into object mode. When you press I on your keyboard, this brings up the insert keyframe menu where you can choose any keyframe for location, rotation, scale, or any combination of these properties. 
In general, the location rotation scale option is used when animating an object. So open up your toolbar and we're just going to move the UV sphere up along the Z axis. Then at frame 1, go ahead and insert a location, rotation, and scale keyframe. Move ahead to frame 30. Then move the UV sphere down. And then change the scale. Then again hit I and add a location, rotation, and scale keyframe at location 30. Now select the keyframes from frame 1 by clicking on the very top keyframe. Duplicate the keyframes with Shift D and then move the keyframes over to frame 60. Go back to frame 1 and play your animation. Now make sure that your UV sphere is up above the grid. Select all of your keyframes by hitting A and then deleting them with X. Make sure you're on frame 1 and then turn on automatic keyframe insertion which is this little button next to the play buttons. Then move the UV sphere back down towards the center of the camera view. And notice how the keyframes have already been added to the dope sheet. Move to frame 30 and then scale the UV sphere. Duplicate the keyframes from frame 1 and move them to frame 60. Go back to frame 1 and play your animation. Now let's explore the third way to do animation in Blender 2.8. Select all of your keyframes and delete them. Make sure you're on frame 1. Under the object tab, make sure that your location and rotation are all set at 0 and your scale is at 1. You can select various animation properties on individual keyframes from the object tab. So let's set all the properties to their default at frame 1. You do this by simply clicking on the small circle to the right of each property to insert a keyframe. Now move to frame 15 and change the Z location property. Then make sure that you Click in the little diamond to set a keyframe. Then move to frame 30 and change the Y rotation. And again, click inside the little diamond to set a keyframe. Then duplicate the keyframes from frame 1 and move them to frame 45. Then go back to frame 1 and play your animation. Now this was just a very brief introduction to animation in Blender 2.8. More detailed animation tutorials will be coming soon. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations or any creations you make in Blender. The link is in the description. 
If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.